Chapter 2 Shipwreck The speed of the flying boats was unknown, how much faster than the sea ships. Within a few days, the two huge flying boats arrived at 95 Island, go to the Clear River sect, Long Wanjing spoke. Yes, the subordinates behind them manoeuvred the White Cloud towards the King sect. On the side, the Fire Helmsman frowned, Hallmaster, I know that you look favorably on Guhai and I also know that you have the power to decide on the helmsman. But, my Yipin Hall has the Yipin Hall's rules. The previous generation of Hallmasters set the rules not to kill each other. So Hallmaster, you're really just going to let it go, allowing that Guhai to act recklessly and kill my Yipin Tang people. Meng Tai is to blame, Long Wanqing said in a deep voice. The old woman Ding Rui shook her head and said, no matter what, Meng Tai is also the Earth Helmsman. He Gu Hai is not qualified to decide the life and death of the Earth Helmsman. He's overstepping his authority. Meng Tai is doing wrong. But who can be faultless? If the Hall Master does something wrong one day, can he, Gu Hai, behead the Hall Master? Servant Master Ding, this matter will be discussed again. Long Wan Ching frowned. All right, I said the matter will be discussed again. Right now everything is not as important as finding my mother's murderer. Long Wanjing coldly said, Yes, Ding Rui was a little unconvinced, but she could only nod her head. The two flying boats soon arrived at the King Sect. The King Sect, with its mountains and mountains, a large number of palaces and houses were situated in all directions, surrounded by countless cloud and mist formations, like a dream. When the two flying boats came, King Sect was in an uproar. Some disciples immediately want to angrily rebuke. Wow! The disciples in the four directions were in an uproar. It was obvious that the reputation of the One Piece Hall and the Divine Mechanism Battalion was still extremely loud in the Nine and Five Islands. The flying boat descended, and there was no large formation around it that dared to block it. It slowly landed on top of a square. Patriarch King, here to intrude again. Long Wanqing laughed. No matter what, it is a blessing for my King sect that Hallmaster can come to my King sect. I have met the first grade Hallmaster. I have met the Divine Opportunity Battalion Master. I have met the Ding Helm Master. And I have met the Flowing Years Master. The King sect Master laughed. The news of the Divine Mechanism Battalion and One Piece Hall flying boats descending on King Sect was quickly spread to several other sects on the Nine Five Islands. Immediately, there were cultivators from all the sects who came to pay their respects. A few days later, within a palace in King Sect, Fire Helm Master Ding Rui met Patriarch Song Jia. Helm Master Ding, what you said, is it true? Patriarch Song Jia's face changed as he said. Patriarch Song Jia nodded. The Song Armor Sect Master nodded and said, I understand. I will send out all Song Armor Sect disciples. It's not enough to spread the news of the ancient sea with another one. Ding Ru said in a deep voice. Oh. Gu Hai swallowed the hundred longevity peach. The medicinal power works in the body. Eating Gu Hai or refining pills with Gu Hai will have the same effect of increasing longevity. Ding Rui said in a deep voice. Huh, this won't work, right? I know it won't. But, as long as there are more of this rumor, even more false words will become true. Ding Rui said in a cold voice. Yes, Thousand Island Sea. The large ship that Guhai's trio was traveling on was sailing quickly on the sea. The sea boat was a money-making project. A sea boat. To board the boat, one needed to pay spirit stones, months of sailing on the boat. The food supply also needed spirit stones. A voyage on the Thousand Island Sea, the sea boat turned quite a lot. Guhai cultivated in the private room, and from time to time, he also came out to get some air. On this day, the three of them went above deck and looked into the distance from the bow of the ship. Yes, my lord, the two responded. The three of them gazed into the distance. Suddenly, a gale blew in. Who you? The wind blew over, and suddenly, 
the wind and clouds changed. The originally clear sky suddenly turned dim. Dark clouds covered the sky, as if a storm was coming. But everything came to fast. There is not a process or the wind blew. The waves began to be huge. Under a wave, the whole big ship was violently in ups and downs. Ah, falling to my death. What's going on? How did the sky change? A storm is coming. Above the deck, countless cultivators revealed a bewildered look. It's only been a while. Why is the sky dark? Buzz. The ship's large formation opened, and steeply, a blue light shield was formed, as if it was a blue ball of light, wrapping the entire ship in it. Rumble. Sure enough, after a while, the waves grew bigger and bigger, and even the large ship protected with the formation shook. The waves rushed into the sky, and some of the waves even shot up dozens of meters high, rolling and stacking, and countless sea fishes were shaken out. It's not as simple as a storm. What's going to happen here? The boatman's face changed in alarm. Rumble. Electricity flashed and thunder roared in the dark clouds, and a steep swarm of torrential rain fell, showering this sea with big waves. Rolling waves swept over the large ship's light shield. A loud crash. The faces of the people on the deck of the ship aimed wildly with the impact. Even Chen Chongqin gulped at this moment. This was a force of heaven and earth, majestic and magnificent. Even if Chen Chongqin was already in the Jindan realm, he was still worried for a moment at this moment. Something's not right. This dark cloud is coming to strangely. It doesn't seem to be a storm. It's too sudden. Could it be summoned? Summoned. A sea beast. We won't encounter any sea beasts, right? Countless cultivators revealed a worried look. Sea beast. What is a sea beast? Gu Hai's face changed as he looked towards Chen Chongqin. Ong. Steeply, a loud bang came from the bottom of the sea as a monstrous force shot straight up from the bottom of the ship. Boom. The sea ship rushed up a hundred feet into the air with a large wave. Ah ah. A large number of cultivators let out screams. Gu Hai's group grabbed the railing and together they flew up with the large ship. The waves around them were torrential. While on the way up, Gu Hai looked at a huge object. A huge black harmless dragon head rushed out of the sea. The dragon head was hideous, glaring and roaring. However, where the left eye was, there was a huge scar that showed its ferocity. A heaven-shaking dragon roar was emitted. Ong. The dragon's roar was huge, shocking the sea water in all directions to explode. Dark clouds rolled and gathered in the sky, and torrential rain poured down as thunder and lightning struck. Everyone's faces changed wildly. Gu Hai visually estimated that the monster was at least 300 Zhong long. At least 300 Zhong, because the monster's body, for the most part, was still hidden in the sea. Zhou Long, the sea beast of the Thousand Island Sea, Zhou Long. How did it get here? How did it get here? It's finished. It's finished. It's a Zhao Long. The surroundings were filled with sounds of panic. Gu Hai's group all stared wide-eyed. This power is simply not at the same level. Ong. The dragon roared into the sky. The ship was huge, but in front of the dragon, it also became not so huge. Boom. The large ship landed on the surface of the sea, and the blue light shield around it violently overlapped, as if it was about to shatter open. The majority of the cultivators, their faces were ashen. It's over. It's over. The crowd screamed in horror. Ang. Steeply, a roaring sound once again came from the bottom of the sea. Boom. The large ship that had just landed was once again swept up into the sky by the waves. Rumble. Dark clouds filled the sky gathered once again. Torrential rain poured down, and lightning flashed and thunder roared. There's another sea beast. There's another sea beast that can affect the heavenly phase. How could this be? The surroundings were filled with sounds of nearness. When the large ship once again fell from a high altitude, Gu Hai finally saw what the sea beast looked like. A large turtle. A giant turtle with at least 200 feet. However, what was significantly different about this giant turtle was that it had a pair of dragon horns on its head. 
which was exceptionally hideous. Roar. The giant turtle let out a loud roar. The surrounding steeply stormy winds rose up, and a super whirlpool formed above the sea, rapidly rotating up. Bosha. This is Bosha. How did this happen? How did Hegemony Shimpo appear here as well? Countless cultivators revealed looks of despair. In the past, when they encountered one of them, they were done for, and now, all of the two ferocious sea beasts had come. Everyone was desperate to cry. If they had known, they wouldn't have come after the ancient sea. Boom! The large ship fell and landed right in the center of the two massive sea beasts. The two sea beasts didn't care about the large ship in general, Chao Long and Bosha, glaring at each other with that ferociousness, immortality in general, finished. These are going to be miserable. What to do? Chen Chen Chen's face changed worldly and said. Put on the life jackets, quick, Gu Hai, however, shouted. As he spoke, he quickly took out three life jackets, which were made by Gu Hai in the past. Gu Hai didn't know if they were still useful now, but still, he put them on. Chen Chonchen and Gao Xionzi quickly put them on. Boom! As the dragon's tail flung out, it seemed to bring out the power of the endless sea, and the huge sea ship burst apart under this huge force. Ah, help, save me! Cries and shouts came from all around, but in the blink of an eye, a large wave swept everyone away. Ong, Bosha let out a roar, boom! Rumble! Guhai felt impacts in all directions. It was too fierce that the sea beasts were mobilizing the power of the sea to fight. It was simply not something that ordinary manpower could fight against. Gu Hai and Gao Xianzi were at the innate realm, and Chen Chongchen was at the Jindan realm. But even with the Jindan realm cultivation, in front of these two major sea beasts, they all seemed so small and insignificant. Boom, 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 boom. A strong force acted on Gu Hai's body. Even if Gu Hai cultivated external martial arts, he couldn't hold on for too long at this moment. Gradually, Gu Hai lost consciousness and fainted. As Gu Hai fainted to death, Cheng Chongchen and Gao Xianzi similarly fainted to death. As the waves rolled madly around them, they lost consciousness. I don't know how many days and nights passed, but Zhao Long and Bajia both left, and the rolling dark clouds dispersed. The sea slowly restored calm. Looking at the sea like a mirror, no one would have thought that earlier this place experienced how violent waves. The large ship completely crumbled under the huge force of the two sea beasts, and the people in the ship all disappeared and were swallowed up in the vast ocean. Everything was so calm, until another large ship sailed by. On top of the ship, there was a large flag with the word Feng on it, causing us to only stop at a nearby sea island to wait. A person next to him frowned. Yes, after being delayed for a few days, the helpers are going to be blamed, another person worriedly said. Moreover, because of this big wave, a few people escaped. How should I explain to the gangmaster? The crowd was silent for a while. Look, there's someone there. One of them said, as his eyes lit up. However, they saw above the sea in the distance, three life jackets holding Gu Hai and his party, floating unconscious in the sea. Fish them out, one of them shouted. Yes, soon, the three Gu Hai were fished up. The makeup on their faces had disappeared, but, after soaking for a few days, their faces were a bit odimatis, and they couldn't tell who they were. The three were wearing life jackets, strung up with a rope, so they stayed together. A man in black conveyed true chi into the three. Elder, they haven't died yet, to innate realm, one Jindan realm, although they didn't die, but it seems like the injuries aren't light either, the man in black said. To innate realm, one Jindan realm, good, good, good. That elder laughed abruptly. Elder, good for what? The crowd was puzzled. Didn't five people escape the other day? Let's fill them with the three of them. At least, the losses have been reduced by a large portion, and the gangmaster won't be too blamed, the elder happily said. 
Right, 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 it's still the elder who is wise. The crowd was instantly excited. No one is allowed to say anything about today's matter. Otherwise, don't blame me for being impolite, the elder said in a cold voice. Yes, drive into the Nine Five Islands with all your might, and we'll return to the gang, elder happily said. Yes, he didn't know how long it had been, but Gu Hai suddenly felt conscious. Cough, cough, cough. With a series of coughs, Gu Hai coughed up some sea water and woke up in a daze. Gu Hai wanted to touch the sea water he coughed up on his face. Clatter. There was a rattle of chains, and Gu Hai was surprised to find that he couldn't move his hands at all. Turning his head to look, he saw that his hands were chained, unable to move. No, it wasn't just the hands, the feet were also locked. Moreover, Gu Hai's face seemed to be covered with a bronze mask. The part above the nose was covered by the mask. What's going on? Gu Hai's face changed.